Yo, what's going on? Now, if you watched the last video, you probably realised that this is the same day and it's a follow-on from that video. Um, like I said, we fixed the diesel leak. That was the main issue. Now we're going to change the wing, the front bumper and back bumper. Um, so it's M Sport front bumper, M Sport back bumper. And it's a primed wing, so let us show you that now. So the wing had been panel beaded out, but we left it in the rain. It scattered a lot of surface rust. I just thought it's better just to get a complete new wing. So somewhere over here, there's a new wing. Um, rear bumper, it's an M Sport bumper. Lights already out. So we're going to start by doing this. I'm taking the two covers out. What we need to do is pull this bumper off. So from memory, because I have done this before, I did it on my old E39. Um, I've pulled that out. Cover from there. Do the same here. Just pull that out. Then you go ahead and pull this out. After that, um, can't remember where it was. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna have to pry this all the way along edge off and then pull this out of its recess and that'll give way to two bolts now these bolts hold go into like two shock absorbers which the bumper sits on so the bumper once you take them bolts out the bumper should just pull straight off um, there's also that there I shouldn't have pulled out that easy. You should have had to pull that out, but oh well. So all we have to do is get out of this groove. All good, mate, how are you? Yeah, but as I was saying before, I like this game. Um, I just pop this off here. I just get a trim tool before I break my hand doing it. Pull all that back. That'll allow me to Pull this off and then we'll fit on the M spot bumper and then we'll move on to the wing and the front bumper. So first thing we need to do is in there you can see a tab. All you have to do is push down on the tab and pull this out. There we are. And then Push down on that one too. There we go. That's them. So you push them tabs down as well. And carry on pulling this forward. It's done on this side. I think what I might do is just Need a plastic trim remover because I'm not gonna get the not gonna be able to get that in there without damaging anything. So let's go get that. Right, so just got a small screwdriver and do the job as good as that. Is there for the 16 mil bolts? I'll show you them. So one there and one there.
That one's out. That one's out. That should be there. So, I did a bit of googling and there's three extending, what are they called, expanding rivets on the arches, which you have to just get that in there. So, just as because of these stupid things. It's come up with a good pull. Needed a good pull on it. Rear bumpers on. M spot bumper. Switches up the look of the car. Got to put the crash pad on, but it's good enough for spray. Um, fitment's nice. Genuine bumper. Obviously, once we get the crash bar on, it lift up and fit perfectly. For now, we're going to go ahead and remove the wings. So, bolt in there, 10 mil. Move that plastic cover, another 10 mil I've taken out. These T20s by the look of it. There's another one behind here, which I've taken off. Um, but I'm going to get the bumper off first. Bumper's easy. It's that T10. Then... If you can see up there and there, these two little plastic expanding rivets, pop them out, pull this out, and there's a bolt there and a bolt there, similar to the back. Take them out, same thing on this side, and move that 10 mil, and then literally pull the front bumper off, and then we'll put the new M Spot bumper on it. Battery is low, obviously, like it was the other. Oof, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Battery is low, as it was before, so I might not replicate it all on camera. I really need to invest in a new power pack as my old ones bust, which is becoming a problem when making these videos. Um, but yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll record the last bit before the battery gets really low so we don't miss out on the full build bit. But yeah, I'll catch you very soon. Quick one, so we've got that out. Two pop rivets. That is T50. We're going to take them two out. They're going to thingy my jigs like the other ones. So. we just got to give it a good pull. So it's been a bit stubborn, so. There we go. That's out again. T50. We're going to remove these two T50s. Take that 10 mil off the side, and then boom, pull the bumper straight off. My bad. It's a T8. It's two T8s. In fact, first one here. You gotta be careful because these are pretty rusted. So it's easy to round them off. Easy to round off, and I do replace them another one just there like I said easy to round up got to put loads of pressure so I'm using that to keep it flat and supported putting all the weight all the pressure on it and just gently that's it because it's pretty rusted as you can see so if you round that off it's just extra headache Again, very long bolt this, like the, back, like the back, so it's on a hydraulic thing, boom, boom, same on this side, I'm going to pull it off. So it's just as easy as this, just go on this side, oh, solid in it. It's a two-man job realistically this. I've got this side of it out. 
any of it. That one's off. There we have it. Still some much catching on that side. Ah. Lift you up, slide it out. Yo, we're finally done. And look at this. It's starting to look the part again, isn't it? Them engine eyes. Yeah, I can't even speak now, I'm shattered. Them angel eyes. That M Spot bumper. Look at that. Wing. Door. I couldn't even lift it on and it kept on scraping against the wings, so I didn't want to do any damage. But I'm gonna have to take that off the spray anyway. Rear bumper from Broom. <laughs> M Sport bumper. M Sport bumper. <sighs> and once it's ready, this car is gonna be a show stopper. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I'm not as excited as I was. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not showing the excitement as much because I am absolutely knackered. Um, but yeah, hard work pays off. It looks good. It's gonna look even better once it's out of the body shop. But for now, let's get a few cinematics of it and then get it over next door. in the body shop. I'm gonna get started on tomorrow. This will be the last time we've seen it like this. So guys, as you've seen, the E39 is now built back up. It's got the M-Spot conversion and it's in the body shop. The video was a bit of a shambles because my battery kept on dying. I've invested in the power pack again, so we won't be having no more of that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish I could have gone into more detail of how I took the stuff off and put it back, put the new bumpers on. But um, yeah, you get the gist. There's plenty of videos out there. I'll attach a link for a guide if anyone's wanting to do that themselves but yeah we'll catch you on the next video guys we're going to be fully documenting the spray job of the five series because this is the part where the car is going to really transform itself um well this is where it's going to get transformed um because the paintwork's looking tired it's slate green but it's very 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 faded at the minute so i know that this spray job is going to completely change the look of the car but it's going to change the color of the car although it's it's original color it's not having a color change it is going to switch up because i've seen the slate green and it's a bit darker than this in the pictures normally when you're looking at them online so hopefully we have a good turnout but thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one guys take care